The WRC calendar obviously goes through some changes year by year and certain events come and go. However, over the years there have been numerous events that have gone which sorely need to come back. Without beating around the bush, here are 8 rallies that I want to see in the WRC again. We start with a bit of an obscure one, Ireland, an event that is currently on the table for a potential WRC return in the coming years. For my money, there are two options here. Firstly, Rally Ireland. It was only ever seen twice in the WRC, in 2007 and 2009, won both times by Sebastian Loeb. And then there's the Circuit of Ireland. It's never actually been an official WRC event, but it has been raced since 1930 and past winners include the likes of Roger Clark, the McCrae's and Craig Breen. Now I am always one to prefer non-tarmac as a surface for a rally as opposed to tarmac, which both of these events are. However, I do think that two or three events per season on tarmac is a respectable number, but I do think that Ireland's climate, and by that I mean the 100% chance of rain making an appearance at some point, makes it unique enough from the likes of Monte Carlo and Croatia to warrant another tarmac event. Ireland itself has always had a pretty strong connection with rallying as well, which certainly helps its case. Now there are currently ongoing bids for an Irish event, though many of these have fallen through, the most major being a 3 year bid to host an event from 2025 to 2027, though as the months go on it's been pushed further and further back. Cost is obviously the main issue here, but should it ever return, I'll be a happy little leprechaun. Another area of the world that loves rallying is Down Under. Now there were obviously a couple of choices here, mainly New Zealand which was last seen in 2022, however I think Australia really deserves this spot. It was last seen in 2018, so before Covid had even reared its ugly head and it hasn't even been run as a non-championship event in the years following. To me at least, Australia was always one of the sport's major pillars alongside the likes of Monte Carlo, Sweden and a certain other couple of events I'll cover later in the video. Originally there were plans for it to make a return in the 2023 season, that then fell through and it was meant to return for the 2024 season and then that fell through and so on. Currently it isn't looking good for Rally Australia according to event promoters, primarily because of the hardships of actually getting the competition out to a more remote part of the world in the southern hemisphere. While these are likely valid concerns, Australia was always a round that provided great title fights and some amazing driving, and was always one of the tougher events on the calendar, and as someone who thinks the tougher the race the better, I think Australia should return. Now if Ireland was obscure then the Ivory Coast is downright forgotten. It was always overshadowed by the Safari Rally, but with that event returning in a bit of a different, lesser guise a few years ago that a lot of people aren't as fond of, perhaps these coming years will be the perfect time to bring back the Ivory Coast. It was last seen in the WRC in 1992, but only as an event with points available for the Drivers' Championship. Therefore, it hasn't been seen as a complete event since 1981. Since 1992 though, the event has been run almost every year since, with Ivorian driver Gary Chains being the standout winner in recent years. It was always a gruelling event, in many ways tougher than the Safari Rally itself, and I think that the WRC in its current state could do with a proper tough car breaking event to shake up the calendar a bit. Perhaps the Safari and Ivory Coast could have a bi-yearly round rotation system together like the Estonian and Latvian rallies will be doing going forward. Now don't get me wrong, there are challenging events on the current calendar, but rallies like the original Safari and Ivory Coast were legendary for their low finish rates, with so many cars and drivers simply being unable to make it to the end, let alone win. Imagine we see something similar to the 1972 race again, where there were no finishers. Unlikely yes, but anything can happen in the jungle.
Another fairly obscure one, Rally Cyprus, but it was actually a bit of a mainstay in the WRC in the 2000s, being seen on the calendar between 2000 and 2006, before returning for one more go in 2009. Again, it's been raced consistently since it left the WRC calendar, most notably being a consistent event in the Middle Eastern Rally Championship. Like the South Asian and Oceania regions of the world, the Middle Eastern region is also sorely lacking in WRC appearances as of late, especially with Rally Turkey not being seen on the calendar since 2020, so a Cyprus return could remedy that. Hello, uh, just a quick interjection from Editor Jack. Um, this is essentially a moot point now, as earlier this month Saudi Arabia was signed on to be the newest round of the WRC, which means a return of the Middle East region to the calendar. Now, <laughs> this will remain a moot point for the next decade, apparently, as Saudi Arabia has managed to secure a 10-year WRC contract, which does seem to be quite unfair to other events that are struggling to hold on to their calendar spots year by year, but that's just my point of view. Honestly, I don't really know anyone aside from FIA management and some rich people in Saudi Arabia that actually wanted this, but with the country also wrangling up the likes of Formula 1 and Formula E, it does seem like they're going for a full deck of motorsports. Let me know what you guys think. Editor Jack out! It was also known to be a bit of a breaker of cars during its tenure, in many sections being more like a Baja stage than a rally stage, and so another solid reason as to why I think it should make a return. However, I do think I prefer it in its 2009 guise, when it reappeared as a mixed surface event. We only have one on the calendar currently, and I think that term fits very loosely for Monte Carlo, so I think a Cyprus return would benefit the calendar nicely. And now for something on the other end of the scale. San Remo was always a classic round of the WRC, and like Cyprus would be in its last year, was the staple mixed surface event of the calendar, featuring tight twisting roads and the well-loved gravel sections. In 1997 though, it became an all tarmac event, and six years after that in 2003, it would be seen on the WRC calendar for the last time, as it was replaced by Rally Sardinia for the 2004 season onwards. Now, there were reasons for it being replaced. Firstly, that it was too close geographically to Monte Carlo, which... Uh, okay. And secondly, the organisers felt that there were too many tarmac rallies back to back, with the competition seeing San Remo, the Tour de Corsa and Catalonia all in a row towards the end of the 2003 season. And so, San Remo was banished. But, I'm going to be honest, I always preferred San Remo to Sardinia, and I do like to think that's not just my rose tinted goggles having an effect. The tight, twisting dirt passes in the Italian mountains were always an iconic sight on the WRC calendar since its inception, and I just don't think Sardinia has ever been able to recapture the mighty majesty of its older brother. And sure, these may seem like shallow reasons to reinstate San Remo on the calendar, and yes, of all the rallies covered in this video, it is probably the least likely ever to make a comeback, but one big factor playing in its favour is that this is my video and I can do what I want. Oh boy, another obscure entry, this time Indonesia. It was only ever raced in the WRC in just two seasons, 1996 and 1997, with a planned third event in 1998 being cancelled due to a political crisis occurring in the country at the time, and it's never appeared in the WRC since. It has been raced numerous times outside the WRC in the years since though, appearing many times as a round in the Asia Pacific Rally Championship, last being raced in 2019. Now, you're probably asking, well, why? Of all the rounds to bring back, why the weird forgotten one from the mid-90s? Well, I just like it. Yeah, watching these cars navigate in the muddy roads winding through the tropical rainforest is undoubtedly a cool and very unique sight to behold, and it was notably on the tougher end of things with a number of crashes and retirements, of course all positives in my book. 
Plus, as I mentioned earlier, Southern Asia and Oceania is a region sorely lacking over the last decade in the sport, and Indonesia is therefore a definite candidate that would help better represent the world part of the World Rally Championship. With the United States, there is a range of events that could be brought back. Additionally, the US is not on this list just because it would make for a good rally in its own right, but it would also benefit the sport as a whole if it made a reappearance. As an example of why this is, F1's popularity has skyrocketed in the last decade or so, and it's partially because it really pushed its exposure in alternate markets, such as the US. The American audience is vital in a sport's global reach and income, and if there is an official World Championship event taking place on their shores, people are going to watch. There are obviously so many fans of rally sport in the US, some of which may be watching this video, but a proper US event would boost its growth over there even more. It was last seen on the calendar in the 1988 season, when the Olympus Rally was last raced in Washington. Additionally, there have been events such as the Rideau Lakes and the Criterium in Canada, last seen in the 1970s. I know Canada is a different country, but widening our prospects surely can't hurt. Now, whether they will bring back any of these events, or strike up an entirely new one, does remain to be seen. There were reports that a new rally was undergoing testing in Tennessee a few years ago, but it doesn't really seem to have gone anywhere. Hopefully, with the new regulations coming, the sport will try and diversify in other ways too, and I think the US would be a great place to start. Look, call me biased or whatever, but Rally GB really, really needs to come back. It was last seen in 2019, and then the COVID pandemic prevented its planned appearance in the 2020 season, and since then it simply hasn't returned. Now, I do like Rally Japan, don't get me wrong, but as a season finale, yeah, it, it just doesn't cut it for me. Rally GB really is the whole package in this regard, but obviously funding and the like has been a bit of a problem. In a perfect world, I would love to see Rally GB return not only to the calendar, but more like it was in its RAC rally days, where the event would finish in different places each year. I do love Wales as a location for an event like this, but I wouldn't mind seeing the competition go back to the likes of Kiel the Forest or Scotland again. Unlike a lot of other events on the calendar and in this video, I feel that Rally GB is completely unique with its setting and surfaces, and therefore a return is highly warranted. It always excelled as the season finale, and some of the all-time greatest moments in the WRC's history took place in Great Britain. Now obviously there are numerous events I haven't mentioned in this video, such as Germany and China and Argentina, but these were just eight that I personally would like to see return. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below, and for extra credits, let me know what you think your perfect WRC calendar would look like. Thank you so much for watching, with a very special thanks to Brum Brum Brin, Jonas and Thomas Bradley, who are very generously donating at the highest tier on my Patreon. Just £1 a month is an amazing help, and I also have socials, links to them are in the description below. And I'd like to thank everyone who's watching for 10,000 subscribers and a million channel views. The support on the channel recently has been amazing. And yeah, I understand that I'm a little bit late to the party, but that's besides the fact it doesn't stop me being very thankful. So again, thank you for watching and take care.